Hello and welcome to Hot Money Technicals on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is a show which gets you a complete trap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I am Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our experts then. Rajesh Partia of Deal Money Securities, Amit Shah of India Bulls Ventures and NS Vidai join us on the show. Thank you to all for joining me on the show. Before we go to the guest, let's get across to Yash Upadhyay, who has a chart on Interglobe Aviation. Yash, what do you have for us? What is the chart indicating? Afternoon, Darshan. I'll go with a call which is against the market mood. So I have a sell call on Interglobe Aviation. Now, the stock has uh, seen a quite of an up move. It's gone from the levels of 700 back in uh, the start of October to as high as uh, as over 1,000 rupees. So that's almost a 40% up move that we've seen in just the space of two months. And that is on account of what the crude has done. But the move seems to be overextended because the MACD indicator, that has turned negative. So as you could see, the blue line over here, that has crossed below uh, the white line, which is over here to indicate a, uh, a negative crossover, uh, a bearish crossover. And you could expect to see the, uh, the stock to fall from these levels. Okay, so that's the view that's coming in on Interglobe Aviation. We'll ask our guest uh, what, uh, whether they believe that there's a possible contra call that could come in on Interglobe Aviation. So, Fidai, I'll start with you. Uh, Interglobe Aviation, what's your view? Yeah, I also believe like you know the stock can uh, correct a bit if it uh, trades below thousand rupees. Hmm. Right now, there is a good support of around nine uh, demo moving average that is. Um, so, like you know, it is holding around that area, uh, consolidating around two hundred demo. Uh, has moved up as Yash said, so you can uh, keep a stop loss at uh, 1080, 82 hmm. and uh, go short if you want to. Okay, so go short, it's an agreement. What about you, Amit? What are you looking at? Yeah, so last week, after several weeks, there was a negative closing uh, after many weeks of positive closing. So, yes, the. Uh, uh, in the near term, uh, as of now, it just indicates the loss of momentum on the upside. It's just consolidating. I believe once it can breach and sustain below 1015, then yes, some profit taking can definitely happen. And um, maybe, you know, 970, 980 kind so of... So at this stage, would you recommend taking any positions or you would wait? No, I, I would wait for, for a break below 1015 to go short. Okay, below 1015. And Vijesh, uh, what's your view? I have a slightly uh, contra view. I have probably look for a long around 1020, 1015 zone and uh, look for an 1090, 11, 20 levels on the upside and probably uh, 985 would be the stop loss because if you look at the uh, stock has seen a strong rally hmm. and slightly consolidating around 200 is average. Hmm. So uh, might a small consolidation can happen and uh, might resume an uptrend after a dip. So I have a contra bet on it. Okay, so we've got uh, all sides of, uh, of the view on Interglobe Aviation. But let's start uh, with, uh, you know, Hot Money Technicals. Uh, let's start with Vidai. You have a rating on BEL. Let's get up the chart of uh, Bharat Electronics. Uh, let's see what it is doing. And uh, uh, so it's trading at 93. What's the call that you're looking at? It? Yeah, basically it is, if you see, this is a huge trend line. That is a multi-year, like, you know, almost from 11 years. Hmm. The stock had given a breakout above this trend line after uh, almost like eight years. Hmm. Currently, it has taken support uh, in this fall, hmm. exactly near to that trend line. Okay, so that is a very good area. Hmm. Then if you check out daily chart, hmm. so on daily chart also, uh, if you see it is in a falling channel kind of situation, yeah. consolidating very nearer to the breakout area okay. on the like you know, channel. Hmm. There is a very good support at the bottom also. Hmm. The stock, if it moves up, above 92, hmm. then we can have a uh, move up to 114, 124. Hmm. On the downside, we can keep a stop loss at 90, 50. Hmm. If it breaks 90, then we can expect much deeper. It's at 93, so it's, it's above this it's thing. Almost but like are you, are, is this on a closing basis that you would look no, at? No, no, no. I would be okay in the intraday also. Okay. So so it's at 93 right now, so you would recommend yeah. accumulating uh, BL at this level. Yeah. Uh, till yeah. what level uh, would you recommend accumulating on the downside? On the downside, you can accumulate up to, uh, you can say, uh, 91, 92 okay. approximately near this area wherever it is trading right now you can buy one at current level also and add a bit more if it comes to 91 and what's the stop stock? loss at 90.50 90.50 is a strict stop loss and you see it going back to levels yeah of, and if it breaks 90 then we can take a initiate a short call also okay in this so, case okay so that's the view that's coming in yeah. on bharat electronics thank you so much for fidai amit uh, uh, would you agree with the strategy on bharat electronics so uh, as of now at current market price see it's coming out of a, it's a long uh, long uh, consolidation and correction zone so uh, there's not much of a momentum going for the stock as of now 
I would only trade this stock uh, only above once it breaks above 100 for, uh, as he mentioned, 110 to 112 zone. So that's a trading pop. So I'm not looking uh, beyond that. Uh, I mean, a, a bigger move on this one. Okay, so it's a wait and watch that approach that Amit has indicated. Brijesh, uh, what about you? What's your view on Bharat Electronics? I will go, I will go with uh, Fidai, sir. Uh, if you look at the uh, chart, uh, on the monthly chart, it is forming a tweezer bottom formation. Hmm. If you look at the daily chart, it has given a breakout of double bottom. So I think uh, at 93, I think probably it could test 89, 90 zone again uh, before resuming on the uptrend. And I would uh, like to buy around 90 because if it would retest the double bottom formation. Hmm. And it is after a strong it is slightly consolidating above the 20 and 50 days average. Hmm. So I would probably uh, look for accumulation around 87, 88 level or probably 90 and uh, look for an upside of around 112 rupees. Okay, so that's the view. I think we're getting slightly contradictory views that are coming in on uh, Bharat Electronics. So that's the first stock that we want to talk about. Uh, the second stock we want to talk about is Amit and he wants to speak on coming Amit. Uh, obviously has done rather well, the numbers were good, the financials good, the management commentary good, but what's the view on Cummins? Yeah, so uh, th this is a weekly chart uh, on Cummins, but uh, even, even on the monthly charts, if you look, it, it's near, it's, it has bounced and taken support uh, near the you know uh, monthly long long term trend line also the consolidation is uh, is a very tight consolidation which is happening now here we have a pattern uh, which i'm preempting would probably break on the upside so there is a good inverse head and shoulder uh, form formation happening uh, on the weekly uh, the large candles that uh, we are able to see uh, shows that some accumulation is definitely ha happening from strong hands and especially stock which is come out coming out of a long consolidation and when you see such large candles happening uh, uh, if we can switch to the daily chart as well uh, yeah so uh, oh, this is the weekly the daily yeah, one the daily one yeah yeah yeah, so uh, here also, uh, if we see, uh, 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 I mean, the volumes are not seen here, but uh, this candle, uh, uh, there was a big gap up here okay. uh, uh, with very, very strong volumes. And if we see the gap up is being maintained. Hmm. So this shows that, you know, uh, in spite of a big gap up, the stock is uh, holding on on to its gains. And when we combine it uh, with, with the larger picture, you know, on, on the weekly, hmm. this uh, paints a very uh, bullish picture for the stock. Okay, so uh, basically, would you recommend what's the stock? loss and what's the target so uh, for someone who, who's uh, wanting to have a, a near uh, stop loss uh, uh, they can place a stop loss uh, below uh, I mean 758 if I'm not mistaken yeah so 758 is the stop loss uh, uh, for, for this one one can expect a target of 900 and even uh, 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 on, on a little larger time frame I'm expecting stock to test uh, levels of 980 on the upside so that's a decent upside uh, from here Okay, uh, so that's the call. Uh, would you uh, and uh, uh, till uh, what level would you recommend? You've given your stop loss at close to 757. Uh, so till yeah. what level will you accumulate? So uh, actually, the, the the proper stop loss, if someone is uh, has a bit of, yeah. a bit of uh, bigger risk appetite, 728 is the stop loss. So uh, a normal, you know, five five seven percent kind of an uh, downside can uh, definitely be uh, taken as an accumulation uh, for the stock. Okay, so that's the view that's coming in on comments. Thank you so much. Amit, yeah. uh, Brijesh, uh, uh, are you bullish on Cummins? Yeah, very much. Uh, because if you look at the uh, weekly chart, as he has pointed out, stock has broken out of the uh, consolidation zone. And if I look at the uh, harmonic pattern, there is a pattern called Dragon. And it has given a breakout of uh, the 50% uh, retracements. So I think uh, 940 uh, would be the targets uh, I am eyeing on. Probably take 6 to 8 weeks uh, from here on. And he has clearly pointed the stop loss is uh, very, uh, 755 is very strong. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the previous uh, low swing low was around 760. Hmm. So yes, thumbs up for a long side. Okay, uh, NS, what about you? Yeah, I also believe the stock can uh, be accumulated around 770-ish with a stop loss near 755 as you mentioned. I'm, I would be bullish uh, um, around that area to buy or on the breakout above 830. Okay. For target of maybe 865 and uh, 900, that's it. Okay, so I think it's a consensus call that you're getting in for a long uh, trade on Cummins India. Uh, the next stock is uh, SBI and that is what Brijesh is recommending. Uh, let's have the chart, let's have uh, Brijesh on uh, and uh, it's a buy on an MACD pattern, uh, you'll have to explain yeah. this. 
So if you look at these uh, formation after a strong rally, uh, the stock is consolidating in a triangle, symmetrical triangle formation. And if I look at the recent momentum, it has given a clear cut breakout about 288, 289. So uh, if I look at the whole uh, rise consolidation, it is a bullish pennant uh, technical pattern which is, has given a breakout. And even if you look at the MACD, uh, MACD at breakout giving a positive cro crossover is again a sign of a strong bullish momentum. And even if you look at the histogram, uh, it's uh, moving on to strong positive option. Side. Uh, and uh, even if you look at this momentum where stock was consolidating in a narrow range, uh, uh, it is uh, clearly indicating that bearish momentum is ending and we are uh, resuming on the fresh upside uh, trend. So I think at uh, 290, one can look for a long for around 314, 320 levels on the upside. So what is the stop? And stop loss I would place uh, below 280 uh, or uh, this low is around 281. So one can keep a stop loss because uh, the trend line is moving higher. So 281 would be the uh, ideal stop loss. In, how, uh, you said what was the target you said 314 to 320. Uh, how low, how soon do you expect? I think uh, one to two weeks uh, because it is generally SBI is a slow mover. So mm -hmm. I think uh, one to two weeks uh, time should be given to this stock. Okay, so the, thank you so much for that, Bridges. Uh, NS, your view on uh, SBI? I agree with Bridges. Uh, the stock looks good. It's in a good consolidation area. Uh, one can buy up to 282 on the dips and um, like you know keep a stop loss around 278. Mm -hmm. For a, uh, if it gives a breakout above 297. Hmm. then um, it will gain momentum and it can go up to 315, 325. Okay, so similar targets what uh, Brijesh has indicated. Amit, uh, would you share a common... Uh, yeah, so uh, broadly I'm quite positive on uh, banking. Uh, within banking, PSU banks are now showing, uh, you know, signs of accumulation and I think uh, uh, it has some more legs to go. Uh, SBI, yes, uh, for sure looks good uh, on the charts. Uh, my sense is uh, this is uh, about to test uh, it's uh, you know the monthly breakout zone of between 330 and 350 so i think uh, on a, a more bullish scenario it can even test uh, uh, those 330 to 350 levels on the upside so consensus bullish call that's coming in on sbi at this point of time so two stocks in which we have a consensus first one was cummins and second one is state bank of india now staying with uh, the psu bank uh, ns has a view on canara bank uh, so that's the second stock that uh, uh, and it has uh, said it's a positive chart formation. Uh, what's the chart? Like if you see from bottom, it has uh, made a very good strong support area around 200. Mm. Okay, and now uh, if you take that uh, high from there, mm. and if you connect this uh, top here, mm. there are multiple uh, tops that are being connected. Okay, and you have a breakout. Actually, the breakout has been done. It is being re uh, like consolidating around that area. Mm. Earlier, it was unable to cross this 200 demo plus the trend line. Now, it is closing above that trend line around 200 demo. Right now, it is almost trading mm. uh, on the near to the breakouts. Around 272, the stock would give a breakout and can go up to almost like 300. Uh, that is my target. Okay, so 300 it can do. I don't expect it to do too much. Hmm. Though the triangle would be a big one, but still I'm not very bullish on that. But because uh, there is a congestion here somewhere around 300, that will act as a very strong resistance. Okay, what's the stop loss? Stop loss would be 252. If uh, the stock doesn't come uh, at the bottom, then you can raise the stop loss around 264. Okay. More like a trailing stop loss. More like a do? trailing stop loss. Okay, yeah. and uh, and uh, what's the time frame in which you expect? Time frame, they should do it like if it gives a breakout, then this should happen in maybe just a week time, weeks time. But if it consolidates in this area, maybe we'll have a like you know four to five weeks of uh, consolidation. Okay, so that's a positive view that's coming in. Thank you so much for yeah. that, Dennis. Uh, Canada Bank is a positive call. Amit, uh, do you agree? Are you positive on Canada Bank? As you seem yeah, to be so bullish on PSU banks as you per your last statement. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, broadly uh, positive on PSU banks and within PSU banks, uh, positive on Can Bank as well. My sense is it can see, uh, you know, it's meandering around uh, its 200 EMA and uh, it's been consolidating for some, uh, uh, some uh, sessions now. Uh, a breakout, a clear breakout about, you know, uh, 268 kind of a zone a good closing would then take it up towards uh, 300 zone, 297 to 300 zone. Okay, so another 300 target coming in on Canada Bank. Brijesh, uh, 300 possible or would you look the other way? Yeah, definitely. If you look at the uh, point and figure chart of Ken Bank, uh, it's clearly giving a double top uh, buy on uh, breakout, uh, which uh, suggests a stop loss of around 255 on the chart. Hmm. Uh, as uh, Fidai has already suggested, target of, uh, stop loss of 252. But I'm expecting the target much higher, around 312, 314. 
hmm. though it might take slightly uh, time because if you look at the PSU index chart as well, hmm. uh, it is giving a strong breakout. So I think all PSU on card uh, for a good up move. Okay, so that's a positive view that's coming in on Canada Bank. Uh, Amit's next stock he wants yeah. to talk about is Escorts. Escorts obviously over the past few days has seen traction. Uh, it has seen decent open interest build up, but it's a buy on dips is the strategy that Amit is saying. The chart. Yeah, sure. So, uh, escorts, uh, uh, along with uh, most of the stocks in the market, uh, have seen a large decline. But here we have seen a trend reversal uh, of sort, you know, at least in the near term. So, uh, it, it has made a higher bottom and a higher top. And interestingly, after this up move, uh, what we are seeing is a very, very tight consolidation. Uh, ra rather than, you know, the stock is not giving up, giving up much of its gains. So, uh, in a way, it's, it's a sign of strength. Uh, once the consolidation breakout happens, uh, we are likely to see a very sharp up move. It's anyway a, a high beta stock. So, one can expect, you know, uh, a sharp upside uh, uh, for the stock. So, we have a target of uh, uh, 725 and even beyond that, uh, uh, target of 760 for the stock. Okay, what's the stop loss? That Should stock someone take the uh, position right now or wait for a dip? Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, you can t uh, take uh, take a position above 700 if you are looking for a straight away momentum uh, building on the stock. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm expecting the stock to, uh, you know, break out on the upside. So one can use uh, minor dips, you know, something like 3-4% uh, kind of a uh, dip to actually even, uh, you know, buy on the uh, dips uh, approach, basically. Okay, and uh, and how soon do you expect the target to come in? Uh, uh, once it convincingly breaks out about 700, I think uh, seven, uh, 750 should come very quickly, 750, 760 should come very quickly, probably in next two, three sessions as well it can come. Okay, so that's yeah. a positive chart on Escorts. Uh, Brijesh, uh, thank, thank you so you. much, Amit. Yeah. Uh, Brijesh, Escorts? Yeah, definitely a long uh, for a couple of reasons. If you look at the monthly chart, uh, September, uh, the stock has seen a strong fall from around around 850 to 600 sort of level. October, if you look at the, it has formed a doji uh, reversal ca candlestick pattern. Second, if you look at the uh, weekly chart, it was holding 200's weekly average. And uh, the momentum on the upside has now started. Uh, stock is breaking out of its uh, pennant uh, formation on the short term charts. So I would definitely look for a long uh, targets would be around 768 for me. And I would slightly place a stop loss around 656. Okay, so uh, again, a positive view that's coming in on escorts. Uh, NS, uh, your view on escorts? Yeah, the chart has given a breakout actually um, on from the flag pattern. Uh, looks very good. Uh, as per like you know i agree with amit and bridges also um but my uh, like you know i would like to buy it in momentum okay more above 725 okay. area for a target of 750 760 Okay, so I think it's a consensus view again and Amit that when he had spoken about it, he did mention that uh, if you want to play the momentum play, play buy it above 700, that's what uh, uh, NS has also indicated in his chart. So that's uh, a consensus positive view that's coming in on the counter and the last talk that we want to talk about is Sterlite Tech and Brijesh has a view on Sterlite Tech. Uh, let's have the chart up and what it is indicating. So if you look at the uh, sector play, uh, the, all the mid-cap sectors has given us uh, already low loss uh, majorly from the tops. If you look at the Sterlite technology, it is being trading into higher, high, higher low formations. Mm. Okay, It has been clearly holding the uh, previous swings low it has made. And if I look at the harmonic pattern, this is a bullish bet pattern, uh, which generally are the reversal uh, pattern calculated on the Fibonacci based. Okay, if you look at this momentum uh, after a strong dip, uh, it is again showing a sign of positive momentum. If you look at the MS, uh, stochastics, it is again uh, giving a positive crossover. And if I look at this is the stock. Okay. Yeah, fine. So if you look at the stochastics again, uh, the previous uh, lows uh, was broken. It is again from the oversold territory giving a positive crossover into the uh, buying zone, and again reversal patterns uh, forming on the price chart. Okay, so reversal pattern forming on the price chart and uh, the bearish momentum is failing to continue. So I think uh, with the stop loss of uh, this level, which was around 332 low, so I would slightly place a stop loss at around 328 and today is again showing upside momentum. So one can buy at current level, add on dips towards 340 to 343 levels and I expecting around 382 on the upside on this stock, which is around uh, this level. Okay, 382, that's the first yeah, target that yeah. you have. And then how soon do you see this coming? I think uh, maybe uh, two, three to four weeks. Okay, so that's a positive view that's coming in on Sterlite Tech. Thank you so much for that, Bridesh. Amit, uh, Sterlite Tech, what are you looking at? 
Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks very interesting on the chart. The broader setup is quite strong. Uh, unlike, you know, a uh, lot of mid-caps which are uh, languishing and uh, ha ha having deep cuts, this one is standing out and, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, it's looking good for uh, a pullback towards 380, but I won't be even surprised if it is, uh, it's all-time highs of uh, about 415 going forward. Okay, so that's a positive view. And what about you, uh, NS? Yeah, I also believe like the stock is making higher tops, higher bottoms. Currently, it has given up all the gains that it could uh, generate uh, after the rally from 320 up to 400. Now, it has come back to that area, retested that area. And um, looks bullish, but uh, would like to keep a stop loss at around 320-ish. Hmm. Um, and uh, you can expect like 400 or even 420 on the stock. Okay, so that's a consensus positive view that's coming in on uh, on Stellite Tech also. And, and uh, the final stock that we want to talk about is Gra Finance and Yash has a chart on it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll, I'll end the show on a positive note. So there's a buy call coming in on Groove Finance and the indicator that we are using is the stochastic indicator. It's a very short term uh, uh, call that we have. Uh, so basically, uh, we've seen uh, the stock coming under severe selling pressure over the last five days, uh, but it has snapped its losing streak and it's up about two odd percent in, in today's day of trade. And the stochastic indicator that has uh, given an early buy signal. Now, the beauty of this indicator is that the is that three out of the last four times that the indicator turned positive and you went long, it would have given you an average return of close to 5% over the next 10 days. So we could expect uh, the stock to you know, bounce from the levels of 280 uh, that it is currently trading at 284, 285 to go up to as much as 300. Uh, we saw a similar move happen earlier as well when it had touched the mark of about uh, 260 going up all the way to 300. So a short term bounce from these levels from 280 to 300 can be expected in group finance. Okay, so if, if you do a back testing uh, how much has been the return if you play this so one? on an average in the last 10 days it would have given you positive returns of about five five to five and a half percent and it, it it has been successful in three out of the four times okay so that's a positive view uh ns any view on reference well i am not uh, agreeing with yash at this moment because uh, the stock has given a strong breakdown out of the like you know the, the pennant that was made over there on top around 200 demo and um, like uh, 300 290 could be acting as a very strong resistance mm. and um, on the downside if it uh, breaks 258 then we can even see it retest around 245 area okay that's the view on bro finance what about your mid yeah, so unlike uh, the other NBFCs, uh, this one has not take uh, uh, has not taken a beating, you know. So uh, yes, definitely it's uh, in a way uh, outperforming, uh, and the fall has been very very uh, rangy, you know. So it's not having uh, those deep cuts and trending on the downside. So it's more of a consolidation for the stock. Yeah, I mean uh, in the near term, uh, for the trader, uh, the stop is clearly below 275. So uh, the risk is limited from here. One can ex uh, one should uh, actually uh, attempt a buy, uh, uh, place a stop loss below. 275 and expect uh, you know five seven percent kind of an upside okay and Rajesh finally what's your view on uh, I am slightly bearish on the stock I would in case uh, 289 291 would be the selling area I would like for a short opportunity and I think uh, 268 267 could be the level on the downside uh, one can look at on green. okay so that's uh, the view that's coming in on all the stocks uh, today almost eight stocks that we discussed but with that it's a wrap on today's hot money uh, thank you so much uh, NS Amit uh, Rajesh thank you so much for coming in today for the show Ask BQ comes up next. Stay tuned to Bloomberg Quint.